Hello, Mike Gold here from Willow Creek Community Church and Willow Creek Association. I just want to talk for just a few minutes about what we did uh, as by way of live webcast to back up the live satellite for the uh, Leadership Summit here in 2009. Uh, the first thing we're going to take a look at is um, the encoding system. This year we're using a Coolabyte system. The this system um, is just working great. Uh, it's the first time I've uh, tried it out. Uh, we're encoding. Um, I could get up to you know, I could run HD through the system. Most of our sites can't handle more than 1.5 meg this year, so I'm sending them a max of 1.5 meg encoded in uh, H.264 with uh, AAC uh, audio. And then I'm and actually recording um, this at a 768k stream. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I'm running at AAC 128-bit audio on that one. Uh, and the actual recording looks pretty good. Um, a lot of some of our sites, um, out, it's, that recording basically is for our West Coast sites to be able to stream that as a backup to the satellite um, on a delay. They run at a uh, two-hour delay from us. They can uh, take that stream, I, I cut and paste it into their players. I'll, I'll show you that a little later. But um, they can take that stream and uh, play that back. Um, 768 was um, a good average for what they could handle in a stable manner. And it really, for 768, this uh, little Coolabyte encoder really does a great job. I'm, uh, the first time I used it, and um, it's been very good. So. Thank you to Ben Mankin from Mankin Media. It's been very helpful, it's a great gift to us. So uh, over here we see a 768K stream. I'm not capturing anything. That's just a kind of a, a, a backup for the sites that can't handle 1.5 meg. That's um, uh, using just regular Adobe, uh, the free Adobe uh, encoder, an MP3. I'm not really incredibly pleased with that MP3 codec for streaming, but uh, um, it comes with it, and it, you know it's what we could. Basically, the budget was right for that. And this is an even lower bandwidth, uh, 500k. We're using H.264 uh, for all the Adobe uh, uh, encoded streams, and those are also going out to Akamai. Um, that, so that basically covers it. I'm doing SDI for all of them. If you look up here, um, these are the SDI captures. One of these SDIs are going down to a little Dell uh, dual socket, dual core computer. The other one is going into just a little Mac Mini running Windows XP, and that just runs great. Nice little encoding system. I like these uh, Canopus boxes. They handle uh, SDI uh, over Firewire 400, or it's basically a DV stream into the encoders. The um, Coolabyte system is actually using um, another Windows box, uh, multi-processor box, and that actually has a Blackmagic uh, capture card in it. Um, over here, you see if you look behind me here, we have a little Adobe Flash uh, encoders. Um, those again are the free encoders, and those are just running composite and analog in. They are running balanced audio in, that helps a lot. And we're using uh, Osprey cards, uh, practically consumer cards, but they are very helpful uh, when it comes to just um, you just a low web stream, there's a 500k there, and there's a 300k. 500k is um, just one that we're using to embed in a web page for some private viewing, uh, and then the uh, uh, 300k is actually new this year. We're actually doing a Spanish translation. Uh, I'm, uh, we have live Spanish translation, so we're capturing some of that uh, live for um, some of our sites in Latin America and other. Um, Spanish-speaking uh, partners around the world to help them choose which uh, Global Leadership Summit sessions will be best for their area. I'm going to walk over to this side. This is just the playback downlink. Uh, right now I'm running the 768. This gives you a little view of the player that we put together. We did uh, their first year running in a, as an air player. We needed a little more control for the um, end for the remote sites than just embedding Flash into a web page. So this player, uh, when you first start it up, gives you a uh, to give you a bandwidth test. It helps troubleshoot when a site calls in and says, you know, I'm, I'm having some problems. I can have them open up the player, connect, and it'll tell me what bandwidth they're running in their site. It gives them better full screen control. So when they kind of click over to their second monitor, as you see here, they, um, you know, it's a pretty good picture for 768. Um, 
that you know, runs full screen. And since we're running um, anamorphic uh, in a standard definition, I'm looking forward to the days we can do H HD and run more of a progressive scan through the system. I'll get a better picture. But uh, for what it is, it works out OK. And then um, some of the other controls, they can actually choose between the different um, streams, uh, bitrate speeds here. Or the, the uh, West Coast sites can cut and paste from, if you look behind me here, uh, there's a, here's the site that they would choose. So they would log in. The West Coast sites uh, would go in here and do the West Coast backup stream. They come down to the session they would like. And they would copy. Oops. Copy. Come back up here where it says select manual entry. Paste that link into there. If you can see that up there. So I'm up here. I'm up here where it says manual entry. Cut that, cut and paste that link right there. Or copy and paste, I should say, that link right there. Click the load button. Click the load button. There we go. Give them uh, a little bit of logging there. And there they go. They can shuttle through this. It, it actually gives them some time timeline or uh, some countdown clock, so they can kind of mirror their uh, satellite feed in case their satellite goes down at the remote sites that are on a delayed broadcast. Loads pretty fast. And now this is also 768 stream, and and um, it actually, uh, oh, that stream actually looks pretty good for a 768K. I was very impressed with how Coolabyte uh, recorded and um, you know played that back. So uh, one of the other things that this player does that has been very helpful for me, um, this uh, Adobe Air Player, is uh, a lot of times when you're when you're um, embedding Flash into a web page and you go full screen and you click back on anywhere on your second or your primary monitor, it will come out of full screen. So this that'll it gives them a little more control to stay in full screen. It's just a little more, I wouldn't call it professional at all, but at least we're trying to head in the right direction. So that's pretty much it as far as uh, that goes. The last thing I'll take a look at here, and I think if you're going to do any kind of web streaming, I think it's very critical to uh, have this. Uh, I'm monitoring the bandwidth into our building, and um, right now I'm running at about 25 uh, meg in, and I'm only running about 10 meg up right now. So. Um, we have at our uh, router and firewall configuration, I'm protected to 5 meg up, which I'm well within. Uh, another thing we did this year, and uh, that pretty much ends our little time, is we used uh, WoW as a server for our internal streaming inside the building so we don't have to use bandwidth. All the, all the players that we use for Flash were um, open video player, so uh, that's a, an Adobe Akamai thing. And one of the reasons why I chose Akamai, I know there's all kinds of things you can do things you can do with uh, Amazon Cloud um, is uh, uh, Akamai, I, I have a little bit more assurance with regard to delivery uh, from a content delivery point of view. Uh, so I, I just, you know, have some trust built up with them. And the cost for us to do it, you know, from a point-to-point -point kind of uh, satellite replacement is um, uh, very inexpensive actually compared to satellites. So. All right, I hope you enjoyed our um, little documentary of our live coverage for uh, the uh, Leadership Summit 2009. This is the kind of technology I really think uh, could um, uh, be very useful in the for future. organizations that are looking for an alternative to the high cost of satellite. And uh, it has much more flexibility, much wider range, wider scope. And uh, I hope uh, we'll be able to leverage these kind of things uh, as we move forward.